Hi all, so in this video I am just very quickly going to go through the differences between a saddle cloth, a saddle pad, a numna and a half pad because sometimes there's quite a bit of confusion arising with these three and I feel that it's a good thing to know what it is. So there are some definitions that are accepted and definite and then there are other things that lots of people differ on. So we're going to start with a saddle cloth. So a saddle cloth is literally just a piece of cloth that you put under the saddle of a horse. And the purpose of a saddle cloth is to prevent chafing um, between the saddle and the horse and just to absorb sweat. It can't do much else. So here I have some pictures of a saddle cloth. They're generally used in racing like these ones. This one is more padded. You can see there's padding there. And then some western saddles, it's basically just like a carpet that can be um, a bit more fancy with the fringes. It doesn't really protect your horse's back or anything, it literally just stops the saddle from touching your horse's skin. So that's a saddle cloth. Then we have a saddle pad. So that is a, a cloth that's been padded and the definition of this one is a padded blanket placed between the saddle of a horse's back to prevent galling. So obviously if the saddle sits straight on the horse's back and like with the saddle cloth, there are some points where the pressure is a lot more and those points will create extra friction that will, that will hurt the horse um, a lot more if the saddle isn't exactly perfect for the horse's back, which is very rare because every horse has a different back and every saddle is slightly, slightly different to the next one. So the purpose of this one is to protect the underside of the saddle as well as to pull heat and moisture away from the horse. It improves saddles, the saddles fit because it um, spreads the weight of the saddle evenly about on the horse's back so that when the horses move, nothing is focused on one point. It's relatively e evenly distributed. So you can see here, here's a western one. It's been padded a little bit more, so not like those other ones we just saw. This one is padded. This one has some waffling texture. This one's used in English writing. And here's some different shapes for saddle pads. So generally, they are padded. That's why they will have waffling. Otherwise, it's just a piece of sponge between two pieces of cloth. So they are padded with waffling. Next, we have the num num. So, numbers and saddle pads are very closely related. But the definition for a numna is a felt or sheepskin placed between the horse's back and the saddle to prevent chafing. So it will prevent chafing and protect the underside of the saddle. It pulls heat and moisture away from the horse's back. It improves saddle fit and it alleviates and evenly distributes the forces on the horse's back exactly like a saddle pad. The purposes are very similar. According to the definition, the numna will have sheepskin or felt. There are, however, some other sources that say that the difference between a saddle pad and a numna is that a numna is shaped in accordance to the saddle. Like you can see in these pictures, it is shaped, whereas a saddle pad is more square. That's up to you what, whether you decide that you are going to differentiate between the two based on shape or based on the sheepskin and felt. But that's what I got. That's the research I did. The decision is yours. Personally, I like the differentiating along the lines of shape because not all of these shaped namnas and so have sheepskin and felt. Lastly is the half pad. So half pad is about half the size or just a bit less of a normal sized pad. It you never ever use a half pad only. A half pad is only in addition to a full pad or a saddle pad or a numna. Never a half pad on its own. And half pads are used mainly for shock absorption. So half pads will generally be um, a lot thicker in the padding and yeah, to absorb more shock along the horse's back. And that's it. So I hope that resolved quite a bit of confusion and I will be having some mini tutorials and some of these sometime soon so that's just why I wanted to clear out any confusion that may arise. Happy horse riding!